As a knowledge worker, you need to process a lot of information. 80% of this flow consists of emails, meeting requests, and tasks on your to-do list. And for many of you, Outlook is the main application used for managing this flow. What if you could go one step further and integrate all these elements into your projects? With Assistance PSA for Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011, not only is this possible, but you can actually extend your Outlook experience with a completely embedded project management solution. Assistance PSA will even give you the power of choice and let you decide if you want to work from Internet Explorer and benefit from the seamless integration with Outlook or if you want to stay in Outlook and continue to manage your projects in this environment. This demo will focus on the integration between PSA and Outlook as well as give you an overview of the user interface of PSA in Outlook. When you launch Assistance PSA from Internet Explorer, you also benefit from a seamless integration with Outlook. Let's open a project to see how this works exactly. Here, in the top ribbon of the screen, click on the Add tab. This will bring you all the activities that you can add to your project. Whether you need to schedule an appointment, set a phone call, send an email, or create a simple task, PSA will automatically link your project to this activity. And the information will be clearly identified in the field Regarding. Once saved, your newly created record will be displayed in the Activity section of your project. And if you have sent an email, it will appear as a closed activity in your project history. And now, let's go to Outlook. The email that you have sent has been received. In the bottom section, you can see your project. One simple click on this link will open it up and give you instant access to the information. And, because your email is tracked in CRM, any subsequent replies to this email will be automatically saved to your project. Now, let's take a look at your task list. It has been updated with your phone call and document delivery task. As for your calendar, it has also been updated with your tasks as well as with your newly scheduled appointment. All your project's activities are now in Outlook and any changes or updates done from here will automatically be reflected in your project. This two-way synchronization will apply whether you create your activity in PSA or such as now in Outlook. And the process in Outlook will be as simple as it was in PSA. One simple click on the field set regarding of your email, appointment, or task, and voila! With Assistance PSA, all your activities and communications will be integrated into your project, helping you keep track of that important flow of information. Let's take a closer look now at your left-hand side menu. Because you would rather continue working in your familiar environment, Assistance PSA has extended Outlook with a complete project management solution. Fully embedded in Outlook, these functionalities are the same as when you work from Internet Explorer. The only difference will be in the user interface, as you will benefit from additional tabs and, of course, features that are characteristic of Outlook. The reading pane is a perfect example. It allows you to see the details of the project currently highlighted. If you'd like, you can even display a specific section of the project here and set it as your default view. Now, let's click on a project. This will bring you to the project screen with its familiar layout and functionalities. Here you will find the Add tab where you can attach activities to your project. And the different sections below will allow you to define the general parameters of your project, determine your project team, even create some specific rates, and finally establish your project breakdown structure and your budget.
You will find here the actual hours and expenses booked against your project in the Time and Expenses module of PSA. And when you click on this section, you will see all the invoices that were generated for this project. Last but not least, you will benefit from a rich charting capability that will allow you to perform quick and easy analysis regarding a specific aspect of your project or regarding your projects overall. This last functionality is available throughout the whole solution, whether you are in your project items, for example, or in the hours of your time and expenses module. The main feature, however, of Assistance PSA is most certainly the timesheet functionality. One click on the Outlook Retrieval button will bring all your Outlook appointments into your timesheet. The time records in yellow are already linked to a project. Open one. By default, PSA has selected the first active item of the project as well as the primary hour type of this employee. In both cases, you may change the selection by using the drop-down menu. You can modify the date and the number of hours initially scheduled, as well as the description field of your entry. And you can also book expenses to your project via the Expenses tab. Once you're done, simply click on Accept to save the information. The time records in gray have not been allocated to a project yet. To do so, simply click on the time record and select a project. Again, PSA will display the first active item of this project as well as the primary hour type of this employee. Everything is OK. Click Accept to save the information. If you leave a time record without a project, it will not be saved in your timesheet. Entering your hours manually is of course always possible here. Simply right mouse click, select New Entry, and follow the same steps as with the other time records. And finally, you can use the drag and drop functionality here to change the day and duration of any of your time records. Assistance PSA will save all these modifications in your timesheet, while leaving intact your original appointments in Outlook. This completes the demo of PSA and Outlook. Thank you for your attention.